How to use Zapier Easy Tutorial 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, we are going to be talking about a very, uh, you could say, well-recognized automation software, okay? And this software is called Zapier.com, okay? And uh, Zapier is going to allow you to automate your entire processes with a simple function that they call a zap. So you can automate your entire business with this kind of application. So let's say if you're running a business and you have things like an email marketing campaign and you have your Facebook page and you have your project management software, you need, you can integrate all these tools together in one platform with Zapier. So to get started with Zapier, all you have to do is click on sign up over here. And uh, from here on out, what you're going to do is you're going to sign up with the, you know, any of your emails that you have. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up with a work email of mine. So I'm just going to add that, add that, and I'm going to click on get started for free. Now, once you do that, it asks for a password. So we're just going to go ahead and add our password. Once you do that, you're going to click on get started for free. And uh, once you have clicked on get started for free, what's going to happen from there is you're going to be taken straight into the onboarding profile where it's going to ask you, you know, tell us a bit about yourself. Help us customize your experience by telling us, you know, details on what you do, how you do it, etc., etc. So that is exactly what we're going to be telling it and we're going to be walking it through all that. OK. So, uh, I'm going to go with select the role that best describes you. I'm going to go with it. Yeah. I'm going to go with it. How many employees does your company have? I'm going to go with this much, you know, that's a decent amount to start off with. And I'm going to click on continue. So what apps do you use? We'll give you personalized workflow recommendations based on the apps you choose. Uh, you can skip this right now because if you choose these right now, it's going to ask you to connect them and it's going to ask you to, you know, integrate them. These are basically all the integrations you could do with Zapier. I'm going to skip them because I don't really want to connect it just right now. Okay. I would rather uh, first come here. And once we are over here, here it says create a zap. Okay. So what would you like to automate? So when X happens, do Y, then do Z. So that's basically creating a zap. And a zap, you know, is a cool way to say automate basically because that's what a zap initially is it's just an automation that they do so to you know zap what you're going to do is you're going to think of a few steps and those few steps are going to take place so for example we're on the nike store okay and in the nike store let's say we're going to go ahead and uh, buy some shoes so that's action one so that's x in this case so i'm going to buy some shoes that's x then Y is going to be the email I'm going to get. Okay. Because obviously when you buy some shoe, they're going to ask you for your email. So you're going to give them your email and Y is going to be the email you get that, Hey, you bought our shoes. It's going to arrive in like 12 working days or something like that. So basically X is an action that a customer commits. So basically a customer will do something like X, you know, in your case, uh, let's say if we have a clothing store. So in a clothing store, a person will buy, let's say, a shirt you put up. Once they buy the shirt from there, what's going to happen is the shirt or, you know, the automation that you set is going to send them an email. OK, and in that email's case, basically what will happen is uh, you're going to get a you could say reference pick. So something like that. So they're, they're going to get a reference that, okay, my, you know, message went through and I'm going to, you know, something's going to happen for me, etc. So to create a zap on Zapier, we're just going to click on create a zap. And once you click on create a zap, what's going to happen from there is basically everything is going to start working out pretty easily. So it says, what would you like to automate? In our case, we're going to make an event. So you could all obviously use their AI, which is a new feature that they've added. So uh, let's say I'm going to add when someone buys uh, or you know what? Uh, when someone messages me on Instagram, uh, you could write um, send me a notification on Gmail. Okay, 
So I'm, I'm just going to keep it right there. I'm going to keep it simple and we're going to click on generate and you're going to see that it's going to make an automation like this. Now it might not support Instagram, but you know, let's see. So there we go. Get notified on Gmail for new Instagram direct message. So, you know, how simple is that? And you can just click on try it and there is your zap. Now let's give it something a bit more difficult. Uh, let's say when someone buys, uh, when someone buys something from my store, send them an email. Okay. And now let's see what it gives us. So originally Zapier will not work for, you know, your e-commerce store or anything, but if you integrate it with Shopify, send email notifications for new Shopify order. So basically if you connect your Shopify, if your store is essentially on Shopify, and if you connect it on that, you can basically create things like these. So basically this AI thing is also pretty good, but if you want to uh, create a trigger by yourself, you can come down here, choose a trigger. Okay. And here you can choose tons and tons of triggers. So let's say I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with Slack. Okay. So on Slack, let's say someone has mentioned me. Okay. And uh, let's say I have muted my Slack and someone's mentioned me. Um, I'm going to act uh, at an event. I'm going to go on Gmail. If someone mentions me, all they need to do is they need to send an email message to me because my email will never be muted, but my Slack sometimes can potentially be muted. And I might not realize that someone has mentioned me, you know, because it could be really something really important, something that needs to be tended to really quick. So, you know, when it comes to, you know, essentially using uh, Zapier, it helps you a lot. And once you do this, uh, make sure to connect your Slack and Gmail. Once you do that, you're just going to click on fix to publish. And what will that will do is it will obviously publish your zap or your automation and you're going to be set to go. So, yeah, uh, basically, if I were to walk you through all uh, over that again, just go ahead, select a trigger, select an action, and you can obviously add more steps to this as well. And you can add different conditions to this as well. You don't need to, you know, keep one automation. Uh, let me just go back and discuss a few things really quick as well. There's different things like automations and stuff on this as well. So there's interfaces, app history, tables, apps, uh, integrations that you can work with and really great and amazing stuff to put your head around. So yeah, basically that's Zapier and that is how you can use this for the greatest automation in the easiest, most simplest way. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step to step guides for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Before signing off, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.